I'm Shengen Fan, Director General of International Food Policy Research Institute. Uh, it is really my great, great pleasure to welcome you, welcome you to 24th Annual Martin Foreman Memorial Lecture. So the title of the today's presentation is a, a Miracle Cure for Global Malnutrition: The Data Diet. So are you eating data? <laughs> and so we have some nutritious food here. Um, <clears throat> So the annual lecture honors the remarkable contributions that Dr. Foreman made to global nutrition. So Dr. Foreman led the USID Office of Nutrition for more than 20 years and was instrumental in drawing attention to nutrition planning. He played a critical role in the development of the United Nations Subcommittee on Nutrition as well as several micronutrient initiatives. So my personal knowledge about Dr. Martin Foreman actually is about his work in Taiwan. So he was the person in charge of food and nutrition program in Taiwan right after the, the war when the nationalist government left the men in China. So Dr. Martin Foreman uh, was helping in setting up some of the school, school feeding program, some of the uh, nutrition interventions in Taiwan. So today, uh, the, we used to go Taiwan is quite a short. So now actually they are quite a tall, as tall as the, the one from men in China. So Michael calls for a decade of action on, well, here I'm talking about the, um, um, well, as part of the tradition, with Michael here, uh, the members of Dr. Foreman's family join us every year. I became DG about five years ago. Every year, uh, Cannon and his sister came to this event, so Cannon. Thank you very much. I will give a chance uh, to Canon so he can say a couple of uh, words about your, your father. And uh, we also have a very rigorous selection committee to select the speakers every year. The members include uh, Mira Shekhar, as I remember, um, what well, obviously, and uh, Pennison, and our our nutrition specialist, Marie, Marie Rohr. So she has really built a very strong nutrition program here at APRI. So that's the um, selected speaker for this year's lecture is Michael Anderson, so the chief executive officer of the Children's Investment Fund Foundation. Prior to joining the foundation, so he was the Prime Minister David Cameron's special envoy for UN Development Goals and a DG Director General of DFIN. You might not know, you made a great contribution to IPRI's nutrition program. Around November, December 2010, Asha Gulati, our Asian programs director, and I had a breakfast with Michael in one of the hotels we stayed. He only had like 30 minutes for us because he was on the way back to US or to UK. In that 30 minutes, he committed first batch of the money to support our 2020 conference which was held in February 11, 2011. That really encouraged many donors to follow, including USID, Gates Foundation, and many others. And as a result of that conference, well, there's obviously there's no direct causal relationship. I just wanted to tell the sequence of the various events. So after the 2011, uh, 2020 conference, um, we begin to need a very large CGI research program, leveraging agriculture for nutrition and health. So John McDermott is leading that program here. Then obviously later on, we expanded our work in nutrition. So nutrition work today accounts for a pretty large share of IPRI's work. And uh, the Global Nutrition Report, which you also supported, happened just about a two, one or two months ago. So you can see it's Michael who triggered all the sequences of events. Although there's no causal relationship there. As a good economist, we don't want to make all this specific attribution there. <clears throat> so Michael calls for a decade of action on data to capitalize on new uh, momentum and energy for urgent action on nutrition. So he will outline a new diet, a data diet, which brings together innovative ideas and the best practices in the nutrition community. As you know, uh, this lecture usually invites speakers who can speak something very controversial. I'm pretty sure Michael will do that. 
So before I hand this over to Michael, I wanted to ask another Michael, uh, Michael, oh, sorry, not Michael, the Canon, Canon Foreman, Canon Foreman, the son of um, Martin Foreman, to give uh, a little remarks. Thank you. Thank you, Canon. Thank you all for coming to yeah, the 24th uh, Martin J. Foreman Memorial Lecture. Thank you, Schengen, so much. And thank you, IFBRI, for, for hosting this event and really uh, spearheading uh, each year, keeping this alive. And special thanks to, to Marie. And uh, I think Marcia just walked in uh, on the selection committee. Uh, Mira, also, thank you very much there uh, for, for your efforts every year. And uh, special thanks to Alan, who really has kept this, uh, kept this lecture alive. Um, we're really grateful to be here. Um, we also want to thank uh, Anne. I don't know if she's here or anyone from AID, but they've also joined in um, this year to, uh, to help support the lecture. And they've also created a, an annual fellowship um, uh, through AID uh, in my dad's honor. But we are, we are really grateful to be here. And then a, a, a real special thanks to Michael Anderson for agreeing to do this. We're honored to have you. We've heard such wonderful things. And, and thanks so much, especially this time of year, to be able to do this. We, we are very grateful. But uh, thank you all. Well, I also wanted to acknowledge Sandra here, the, uh, the sister of Cameron, the daughter of uh, Dr. Martin uh, uh, Foreman. Now, um, in fact, the Canon flew from Colorado to Washington to, uh, this year. You know, he used to live in Washington, so it was a convenient. But this year, you, you, you had a little bit of extra effort to fly here. I hope you will continue to do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Now, Michael. Praise Michael. All right. Thank you.